Hey there guys, welcome to what is a new Let's Play. I, I teased this briefly near the end of the Let's Play Undertale series. Um, but yes, this is Let's Play Deltarune Blind. Well, blind-ish. Like, I know the game. I know what it's about, vaguely. I knew what it was about going into it. But I'd never actually played it, which kind of surprised... Which kind of surprises me, personally, because I... As you all know, I was a huge Undertale fan, a hugely cringely Undertale fan, and, uh, I... I'm kind of surprised that I didn't even try to play this game at any point, especially since it was free. It wasn't like Undertale where I could make up the excuse of, oh, I didn't have the money to buy it. But, whatever. Okay, we're... Oh, character customization! Uh, definitely gonna say, this is definitely an improvement over the last game. None of these heads really look much like me, though. Head should I pick? I guess that one's the closest. Select the torso. None of these really look that different. Oh, I see. There's like got a different kind of jacket. I guess I'll go with that. Select the legs. I none of these look different at all. None of these look any different. Uh, I guess I'll pick that. This is your body. Do you accept it? Sure. Looks hell of a lot better than how I actually look. You have created a wonderful form. Well, thank you. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Uh, hmm, pain cold. Uh, I guess salty? I don't know. Your favorite blood type. <laughs> I don't know the blood type. It's been a while since I've taken biology. What color does it like most? Definitely blue, though I didn't see cyan until I was done. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, voice. I'm gonna go with mind. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. I could say I'm disgusted with it, but I'm gonna say I'm hopeful with it. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. What? <laughs> okay, this game's a little weird. Jay, you didn't tell me this game had weird shit in it. You won't be able to hear his response. Uh, I'm naming it Brad. We called it Brad. <laughs> uh, and what about the creator? Oh, lucky I didn't call it Brayden then, because then I can call myself that. No, my name is not Juddy, despite what you might you might think if you watch the entirety of the Undertale Let's Play. Brayden. Braden. <laughs> Excellent. Truly excellent. Thank you. Brayden. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation will now be discarded. Wait, what? Bullshit! No one who can choose who they are in this world. That's not true, though. Your name is... Chris! Oh, hey, I know you. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I'm late for school. I will wait outside for you, alright? Okay, my name is... Huh. This person looks very, very similar to someone we've already gotten to know very well. It's a red dragon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Why is there a birdcage in there? It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. It's a and I clicked on it again. <laughs> Fuck. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. Religious, ska. I can't. Now I want to know if that's a real genre. Oh. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. The hell would that even be like? The closest I can think is maybe like P.O.D. And I've only listened to three songs by them, so... So I don't I don't really know. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific reputation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. An assigned copy of the history of humans and monsters by Jerson Boom. Huh. I don't think I'm done looking up here yet. It's a cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer. The labels have long faded and there's no green. There's no green. It's only you. 
The door is locked. Oh, gee. Can't, not like the last game, can't go snooping around in my mom's room. Oh, it's a bathroom. It's a toilet. Flush it. Hmm. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Hot pizza play flavor. Oh. At least it's not Axe Body Spray. Why is there a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo? Like, is that for the goats? Is that for... Is that for Toriel? Mother and my brother. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. AGAIN! Mom, get your goddamn fur out of the drain! Ugh! Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's chair reel, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Oh. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when, we, when Azrael visits next week. But I wonder... After the excitement of the university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? And as I'm recording this, I realize that it would have been better as a blind let's play if I had rec if I had uh, recorded the narration after I had done each part, after I had played through each part. It would have worked out better as a blind let's play that way, I guess. But you know what? <sighs> Fuck it. The school only has one parking space. Well, two. But... Uh, do you need to hold my hand, Mom? <laughs> I'm 18 fucking years old. I can make it to school myself. I don't even go to school anymore. Okay. To the left. So, does everyone have a... Oh, Chris, we, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month, uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Okay, can find a partner. Partner? I hardly know her! <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No. No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having a partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Crisp, I want really solid tumbles. I have a partner. Uh, the egg. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. <laughs> you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partnered with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. Pfft, not! I actually want to get an A! Oh, jeez, what a dick. Chris, you know Jock and Dean and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo. Ever since our first gym class, it was Hula Hoop Day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Okay, then. Click, click, attack. Taken. My school, you'd get fucking tackled for using it. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with the lights on it, huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, Birdly already asked me, but I can ask Miss Alpha so we make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Yes, do it. I'll talk to everybody. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is, it, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort! What? Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please speak up? Uh-oh. Uh Hi, Susie. <laughs> oh, no. Am I late? Oh, no, 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 you're fine. We were just, uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. N now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good, good idea, Noel. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. 
and, and Chris, can you go with her and make sure she, um, actually gets it and, um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. I don't get a say in this! The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images, and rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing blush. Alphys! Chris, didn't I say being late was a bad idea? Whom? It's almost as if you should have, as they say, listened? So it's very mean, said Egg. Neville Hatch. Yo, Chris, I'm sorry. If I had just waited to be your partner, you wouldn't have to be hers. She's gonna pound you to pieces, Chris, and then kick the butts out of all those little pieces. Chris, don't listen to him. It's not that bad. You'll probably survive Susie beating you up. You're just gonna fail when she doesn't do any of your projects. It's like we always say, Chris. You sue as you lose. Uh, that's not very reassuring, huh? No. Chris, if I had arms, I would take off this cool hat in remembrance of you. Don't die. Don't worry, Chris. I've always thought Susie can't be so bad, you know? I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Uh, if you say so. C Chris, what's the hold up? Go out there. Fine, Alphys. Ugh, I'm still bitter over what you did last time, even though that was in an alternate universe. Oh, <laughs> I missed the quote. God damn it. You check the time. It seems to be time for class. Oh, jeez, Tobia. I didn't realize. Oh! Huh. I guess Susie really wants some of that calcium in her diet. I know chalk isn't made of calcium, but didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? No. Huh. You can't even say. Chris. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Haha, <laughs> come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel about losing your face? Oh. Oh, gee. I didn't know the school would promote it that. Nah. Chris, you got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Uh, let's go, freak. Uh, yeah, we'll do that on the next part of Let's Play Deltarune Blind. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye